Hello everyone. Welcome to the Survey Diary YouTube channel. In this Erdas A to Z video series, we are going to introduce Erdas Imaging software. So, first of all, we have to know what is Erdas. These five letters E R D A S stand for Earth Resources Data Analysis System. Now the question is what is this Erdas imaging software? I can simply explain it as a single powerful convenient package of geospatial image processing and analysis, remote sensing and GIS capabilities. Erdas imaging enables users to easily create value added products such as 2D and 3D images, 3D fly through movies and cartographic quality map compositions from geospatial data. This software is easy to learn and it gives us a chance to process imagery like an experienced professional. Regardless of our experience in geographic imaging, in this video you will become familiar with basic layout of Erdas Imaging Interface. Here you can see Erdas Imaging Interface. Let's take a closer look. In the upper right, you can see Quick Access Toolbar. This toolbar is easily customized to contain tools that we use most often. You will see later that these tools are remain available as we click through other tabs on the ribbon. Below the quick access toolbar, you can see file tab. This is the tab which contains functions that allow us to open layers, save layers, set user preferences and several other tools. Along the top of the interface is ribbon. We can find all major functionalities available on the Erdas Imaging along the ribbon. Tools are organized in tabs and as you click on tabs, new tools become available. Tabs are dynamic and change based on the active layer on the contents pane. This is contents pane. It shows us all viewers and data that we have open in the workspace. It will report the type of viewers open in the workspace and also order the data display in the viewer. Just below the contents pane, this is Retriever pane. This pane is used to create a shoe box that provides quick access to project specific data. Once a shoe box is created and displayed in the Retriever pane, you can use a simple drag and drop to load data from the retriever to the weaver. Along the bottom, you can see the status bar. In the upper right of the weaver is a push pin button. Any pane that contains push pin can be undocked from the main workspace and arranged on the computer desktop according to our preference. Finally, the large area is the weaver. There are several weave types available in Erdas Imaging. The weaver displayed here is a 2D weaver. It's currently open but empty and ready to load data. Now let's see about those in more detail. As I said before, all major functionalities in Erdas tools are organized in dynamic tabs. The tabs are organized into groups. Each group contains a set of related tools with a group name underneath this. Here you can see the edit group and tools of it. 
if you want to minimize the ribbon you can use this small upward arrow after minimizing the ribbon this arrow will convert to a downward arrow so if you want to maximize it again you can click on it there is another method to do that in the quick access toolbar you can see customize quick access toolbar in here also they provide option to minimize the ribbon again you can untick this box and the ribbon will reappear in the ribbon groups can be displayed in two ways depending on the amount of space available groups can be expanded with all tools in the group like this or groups may be collapsed collapse groups only show the group name with an icon and an arrow indicating that there are more tools available click on the collapse group to display the tools and also some tools have menus a small arrow indicates a menu is available menu will be appeared by clicking on this small arrow now i want to show you this push pin button by clicking on this button weaver can be undocked from the main workspace again click on this and see the weaver will fit to the main workspace in the left of the status bar you will see coordinates reported based on the cursor location of a data displayed in the weaver then you can use the far right to change the rotation of the data in the weaver if you want to increase the screen in the weaver you can hide these two panes click on this auto hide button the panes will be fitted to the screen again by clicking on it so i think now you have a good idea about user interface of erdas imagine see you in the next video if you want to get in touch with us don't forget to subscribe our channel so thank you for joining with us